This is World Oceans Day, a concept first proposed by two Canadian environmental institutions. It's an event designed to highlight the importance of global cooperation to protect and preserve ocean ecosystems. Now there's a new idea being floated, to build an ocean observatory off Canada's east coast. Brett Ruskin joins us this morning from Halifax with the latest details. Hello, Brett. You always have the most beautiful locations behind you. Uh, on this Oceans Day, who knew? What can you tell us about this idea to monitor the North Atlantic. Good morning, Jennifer. Happy Oceans, World Oceans Day to you as well. Uh, and this is really an, an ambitious idea, to be certain. It is designed to be what's being billed as an international space station for oceans. And so it's being called the North Atlantic Carbon Observatory, basically a way to monitor and measure ocean ecosystems here off Canada's east coast. So I was able to speak with Dr. Anya Waite. She is the CEO of the Ocean Frontier Institute. Here's what she had to say about the importance of this corner of the oceans. So the North Atlantic absorbs about 30% of the carbon that the oceans absorb in total. And that's partly due to uh, an interesting system east and west of Greenland. There are things like chimneys where water cools and sinks down three kilometers to the sea floor. And it's that long-term storage of carbon that's been taken from the surface and sort of stored at the sea floor for, in some cases, decades or even millennia that is the function of the ocean carbon storage that the ocean is currently um, providing for us. And so this plan would effectively pool government resources and expertise from uh, countries around the world, or at least along this coast of the ocean on both sides of the Atlantic, uh, to try to you know, work together to gather data and deliver that data to government decision makers around the world. Jennifer. So, Brett, we know at this point the observatory is just an idea, but what kind of pressure is there for a project like this? Well, yeah, so I asked Dr. Waite, you know, what are we looking at in terms of a timeline here? How quickly do we have to respond and act to the climate change crisis? Here's what she had to say about that. It's a really urgent time. We have eight years at current emissions before we cross the, the threshold after which we cannot get back to 1.5 degree warming, eight years. That means that if we don't do something now, we won't be able to observe the changes in high enough resolution to make sure that we can literally save the world. So uh, no small task, just saving the world. So that is again, as you mentioned, the idea at this point uh, to build this North Atlantic uh, a carbon observatory with a series of sensors uh, on the surface, with gliders under the water, different uh, ways to, again, measure all kinds of different aspects of the North Atlantic, this key part of the oceans. Now, the Canadian government has yet to sign on, officially commit to supporting this project. However, Dr. Waite says that there is uh, growing support, that they are making good progress on getting more and more federal leaders on board. Fascinating. Jennifer? Brett Ruskin, live in Halifax. Thank you.